Aye, aye, men, it's Dory McMucky, Bacon and Bucky. Now, a lot of folk in Scotland can just who important butter is for our diet. It's one of the most important of all the Scottish food groups. And one of the best ways you can get butter into your moo is with a traditional northeast buttery. There's two ways you can make them. Easy way is to get some croissants and row them over with some agricultural machinery. Now, some folk didn't like them this way. So, here's an old fashioned recipe. Here's what you'll be needing. 250 grams of butter, 125 grams of lard, 1 tablespoon of soft brown sugar, 500 grams of flour, 2 teaspoons of dried yeast, 450 ml of warm water, and a pinch of salt. Take a thought of the water and put it in a wee ball. Tip in your yeast, and the sugar, and mix it up till you've gotten a paste. Flump yon flour into a bigger bowl. Once your yeast has turned into an eldritch abomination, tip it into the flour and mix it up in. Now grab your enchanted spurtle and splish in your water over the flour. Get to mixing until it comes together into a hideous, sticky mess. Brand it over yarn and put it somewhere in for a bit and let the yeast do its bibbly magic. Get yourself a food mixer and plop the butter and the lard into your bowl and cream them all together into one great big artery clogger. Once it's mixed, divide it into three bitties. Soon your dough is going to be grown out of control and doubled in size. Give your best Steve McQueen impression and beat it back down. Flour a surface and row it all out until it's about as thick as your cranny. Take a thought of the heart attack gloop and spread it over two thirds of the dough. Now fold your last third hour and take the other third and fold your back out of the top of that. You'll have a big fatty Swiss roll kind of a thing. Now row it all back out to another rectangle and wait for about half an hour, just enough time to catch up in River City. Now using either the remaining bits of your lard goop, rewind and div it all on again. Oh, you can watch that handsome Doogie Vipon speaking about farmers or something for your wait. Now, pray your goop, fold it over one last time, and wait again. This is talking ages. There'll be bloody dinner by the time I've got this for my breakfast. And after all that, cut it all up into about 16 pieces and arrange them on bacon trays. Let them rise for another 45 minutes where you think about how much quicker it'd be if you would just buy these for your shop. Oh, and preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Now you've had your final rise, scalp them in the cooker and back them away for 15 minutes. And there you go. Delicious buttery butteries, each containing more than half of your recommended daily intake of fat. Fit wine is served with a thochty of jam, or even more butter. And some cream. And a gastric band. Bye for noob!